Good morning. Happy Monday. It's December 4th. It's like 6.40 in the morning. And we're going to open some Advents. I have coffee. Mm, delicious. We're going to do cheese because I forgot yesterday. Um, I did get some questions. I got this at Sam's Club. Two. I forgot three, right? And four. Three is... I'm not going to eat it this morning, but... I'll put it in my lunch and have it this afternoon. Day, f oh, one of these is moving. So, this happens with these advent calendars. They move sometimes and you get the wrong day. But day three is pesto gouda. Dutch gouda cheese with a Mediterranean twist of summer pesto. Yum, I can't wait for that. And a four is ah. smoky cheddar. And I'm assuming we all know what that means. It's smoked cheddar. English cheddar with a smoky flavor. Yum. Okay, and then my advent that I got the card. Day four. Oh, Bethlehem from you shall come forth from me one who is to be ruler in Israel. And it's a cross. Perfect. Okay. We'll do Sarah's Advent today. And we'll take something off the tree. Should we? Wait, I took something off the tree the other day. Let's do this one. And here is your trivia question. Whose eyes are all aglow in the Christmas song? Santa. No. Tiny Tots with their eyes all aglow. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow. Merry Christmas. That's two in a row I missed. Urgh. I'm a very competitive person. And this is taped together. Let's untape it. Ooh, I ripped the bag. Sorry, Sarah. What's this, what's this? Oh. Put this in the trash. Oh, I'm excited. It's a cat sponge. It's a black cat cleaning sponge. I love it. I can't wait to use that. Okay. Um, I got my cheese. I made this, but you'll see it in a minute. I'm going to have to clean up my, my space over here. So, day four of the Woobles is the brown yarn to go with the base of the Christmas tree, which I have not made the tree yet. I'll do that this week. So, I got the brown yarn and the directions to go with that. And I just put these back in. Okay. Okay. Um, Advents, one, two, three, four. Okay, I think this is it, right? And my flossing Advent, or my cross stitch, I did, I am keeping up. I have a couple that I need to, stitches I need to put in, but. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Candy. A couple pieces of candy came out. And we're not into the green floss today. Sorry for the crinkles. Ooh, pretty. This is cherry blossom. It's like a soft pink. Well, I like that a lot. And this is December 
fourths picture. And we're going to be, oh, good, good, good. So we're going to be adding at the top where I couldn't get to. Now I will. So today when I get do that, except for I still need to count down to this 23. Okay, I think that's everything and everybody. Is that all the advents for today? I think so. And I did make some video recording last night of, um, oh, my hair, it's still wet by the way, of some crafting that I've been doing this week, this weekend. Yeah, so it'll be a short one today, but I gotta get this loaded before I leave for work because I have pottery tonight. I know, anything, else? oh, tea, but I don't get the tea today because it was the first, the third, the fifth. So I think, is that how that works? The first, I didn't get it on the second. I did open it on the third. I won't open it today, so I'll open it tomorrow. This every other day thing is hard. And I have not had the peppermint tea yet. Maybe I should bring one to work with me. I should do that and have it today with my cheese. What says cheese like peppermint tea? All right, guys, have a good one. And I will talk with you later. Bye. Okay, it's Sunday, Lori. And I thought it would be a good idea. I'm going to show you what I've been crafting on since I'm probably currently at pottery class. So I need to get this video up. So we're going to do it today. I did the woobles. I went ahead and skipped ahead to the 18th and took, uh, took out the hook for the Christmas. And I made this Santa sack. How fun is that? It is a drawstring, so I can fill it with something if I wanted to and give it give it as a gift. But we'll just put it here on the Woobles box and see what's happening. And then I did some sewing. Um, yeah, polar fleece is not easy to sew with. I've never tried stitching it before, but I bought this fleece at Hobby Lobby. And it has like the the rainbows and then it has the little bumpies. And then I just put a plain gray on the back and I stitched it shut because I put catnip in it. These are cat blankets for Christmas presents for some of the cats in my life. So they're not big, but they're just to lay on furniture. They are totally washable. The catnip will just, you know, dissolve and come out. It's like, where is it at? I've shaken it up in here. Um, so yeah, I made these for a couple family members that have cats and I made my boys one, of course. I'm stashing them in zip bags because my cats will get all over them and lay on them. They love catnip. They love blankets and I'm trying to keep them nice for the family pets for their own presents. So I'm just putting them in zip baggies and it will keep the uh, fiber fill, I'm not the fiber fill, the catnip scent away from my boys. And I have, I made four of them today and the one I made for my boys is in my office on the floor, they were playing with it. And then I'm working on cross stitch. I don't have the pattern, I'll show you at another time, but I just have done, it's a, it's going to be a gold frame and there's going to be a fox in here. But that's all I've gotten done this weekend on this one. And this is 36 count. It's in aqua. I think it's a Lugana. I bought it at um, Cross My Heart, which is my local stitching store. So, yeah, that I got that done like between Friday and today on this. Oh, and this was the earrings that I got from Timu. And all I did, like I said, is I ripped the back off and I glued magnets. So now it's magnetic. It'll just slide around. I can put my needle on there or I can, usually what I do is use it to hold my pattern while I'm stitching. Oh, it looks like a smiley face or a half smile. Arr. <laughs> and then this is my advent. So I'm opening up every day. This is the stitch marker or the needle minder that came with that kit. 
So I have done day one was just this V. And then these flat, these stems with that little thing in the middle, I did today. And this light green I did yesterday. Today's does have, what is that? Does have a date that goes down here somewhere. I'm not counting that far. I'll just wait till I get to it and then I'll put it in. And then there's some little uh, decor items that go across the top that I didn't do a couple of three stitches. But again, I didn't feel like counting that much. And I know I'll, there'll be other stitches getting me closer. And so that's what I've got done. And I am caught up. Now tomorrow I will not be caught up. Tomorrow is the 4th. Yes, tomorrow's the 4th. So tomorrow I will fall behind because I have pottery. But I am off this week, Thursday, Friday. And so I'll catch up. And I always, I usually fall behind during the week and then catch up on the weekends anyway. So that's all the crafty business that I got up to this weekend. I wanted to share that with you. And I'll see you in the morning when we open up advent calendars.